I'm Dr. Brannion with New Hope Unlimited. First of all, I want to thank you for taking your time because your time's valuable, I know, but just taking your time for the next few minutes to hear me. And hopefully I will have something that you will be able to take back and think about and research. But today's video, I want to talk about how important it is not to harbor emotions. Do you know that there is actually a cancer personality? We're not going to discuss that on this video, but there's studies proven, and we've done all our own little studies concerning all of this. And I will go over all of that in another video, so stay tuned for that one. But today's, I want to talk about worry, anxiety, fear. I tell our patients all the time, it is very hard to get well if you've got all of this going on. And believe me, if you're coming from the U.S., um, and I say U.S. because we get patients from all over the world, but the U.S. tends to uh, instill fear and worry and doesn't give a lot of hope and compassion anymore. And that's one of the problems I, I think we really need to change out a little bit. But you can't really get fully well as quick as you might want to get well if you're holding all these things in. And there is also studies that show that if you've got some deep, deep down grief, and you just can't seem to get over it, that grief can settle into the lungs. Hey, I know it sounds crazy, but we see, we've seen thousands of cancer patients. And you can ask these people, can you think back years ago or before seven to 10 years before your cancer, can you think of a problem that you had that you just seemed like you couldn't get over? Well, it's amazing what they can pinpoint without you coaxing them. They'll, they know it. And if they know it real quickly, that means they never really got over it. So things like grief, grief of losing a child, a family member, um, a lot of things. It can go to the lungs, bronchitis, asthma, cancer, that sort of thing. Also, for instance, worry, anxiety, that can hurt the pancreas. Liver is usually from deep, deep down anger that you never could get out. Throat problems, this is coming from studies for long ago from the oriental doctors and, and those who really studied people and, but throat, for instance, is where maybe somebody during their life somewhere was always, don't, don't say that. Don't talk about that. No, you can't express yourself because it'll just get you in more trouble. Well, believe me, you need to start speaking up. You need to get the grief out. You need to get the anger out. There's also other organs that certain emotions work with. I tell my patients, it's like we've got a, a trash can that's sitting in the core of us and we stuff and we stuff because we think, well, it's not our place to say and I don't want to make anything worse. I don't like confrontation, blah, blah, blah. All these more and more excuses. We all come up with them. But sometimes you don't know what to say, so you just hold it and, and you'll go cry, you know, that sort of thing. But after a while, we keep stuffing and we keep stuffing that trash can. I'll worry about it tomorrow. I'll take care of it tomorrow. And then all of a sudden, the top just will not. You can't get the top onto that trash can. So when that happens, all of a sudden, things have to manifest and things do happen and they do go places. So think about what is your weakness? Got to get rid of that. You are the most magnificent thing on this planet. That's the attitude you got to have. And especially if you believe in the good Lord as our creator, he doesn't make junk. He doesn't cause confusion. 
we do that. So I want you to know who you are. Whatever it takes, whether it's self, self working on us or going to see a psychologist or whatever it takes, you deserve to be the best you can. And did you know that worry is a habit? We decide that we like those little worries because, and after a while, that drama and that worry brings about some comfort even. I know that sounds crazy and we might not want to admit it, but you may know and I know that there is people that always carry a little black cloud. And then when all of a sudden someone helps them and it goes away, they are happy, they're joyous, but then slowly they'll create something because they need that darkness back because they have grown for so long to keep that darkness. Now that's not good. You want to just fly with the, the eagles or whatever. You want to be free because that helps the immune system. Your cells feel you, hear you, know everything about you. When you're tense, when you're worried, when you're anxious, fearful, guess what? The rest of the body does the same thing because it's created with your own DNA. It hears, it feels. It's a little bit more science to it, but I can promise you the science is real. I just want to say it to where that you can understand it, where to give you a little bit of oh, momentum to go check it out. And I just want you to know that you are the most magnificent thing in the world and you can change things. It is your birthright to be healthy, but sometimes we have to clean our own little universe, which I call our insides, our cells, our bloodstream and all of that. We have to clean up sometimes and it's not easy, but we have to get rid of the past. The only thing that you can do about the past is forgive and say, I'm sorry, or write a letter. Even if you don't send it out, that is healing. You cannot relive the past unless you've got a time machine that we don't know about. But if you don't have a time machine, you can't live the past. Nothing you can do except go forward. Every breath you take is your future. And you need to remember that because it's, it's, you are worthy of everything life has to give, but you've got to remember it. Worry is a habit. Let's turn that worry around and create our lives and create more happiness. I hope this helps. We'll have more on this topic, especially the cancer personality. There is a personality for every disease. And I want to go over that, but we just don't have time to do that in this video. But I do want to say, look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you love you. Whether you mean it or not, you need to hear it out loud. And eventually that can create doors that open up and you start feeling better about yourself. And do your best to tell three people a day that you love them. Spread it around because we need more love and compassion, especially in these days of terrible news. Don't even watch the news if you can help it. Anyway, I love you and hope you enjoyed. And thank you for being with us and hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.